Somebody tell me, hey, the central verse of the Word of God, and I know the central verse, Psalm 119, verse whatever it is, but um, what's, the, what's the message of the Word of God? What is it? John 3.16. So, no, it's John 3.16. So take your Bibles. Take your Bibles, please. Take your Bible, please. Mr. Ray, Mr. Ray, we don't have everybody start talking here. Turn to John 3.16, please. John 3.16. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're excited. But once the preacher starts talking, we all listen to what he's got to say. I spent all week praying about it and talking about it. I heard about a preacher. In fact, he's a friend of mine. I'm not going to tell you his name, but he's a friend. We went to Bible college. He got on this uh, every every uh, believers of the royal priesthood and blah, blah, blah. So he'd come to church every Sunday and say, who's got a message for the church? You know, pretty soon the church people are hearing whatever everybody's got the message instead of what what's the pastor's message for the church. The pastor's supposed to be the guide overseer ruler the ruler means the one that sets the direction and so uh, that's why i've got a biblical reason for everything i do i mean i'll give you biblical reasons why i pull for the chicago bears if you want one I, I, give me a day or two i'll come up with something okay amen see you like the colts amen so you like horses better than bears and bears eat horses so there you go bam john three sixteen. let's get there quickly amen john three sixteen. all right john three sixteen. I feel like I'm at the funeral again, amen? John 3, 16. All right, John 3, 16. Uh, in fact, look at John 3, 14. Let's just read John 3, 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he... In fact, verse 15, man. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Whosoever shall quit smoking, shall, no. Whosoever shall quit drinking, no. Whosoever shall quit doing drugs, no. Whosoever shall quit being a stripper, no. Whosoever shall never go to prison, no. Whosoever shall, and, and you can like this, lump this, smoke it, snort it, I don't care what you, shoot it in your veins. Whosoever shall not be homosexual. Are you saying homosexuals would be saved? Hey, I'm not saying anything. I'm just reading John 3, 15. That's all I'm doing, Okay. Now, you say, is it okay to drink? No. Nope. You okay to be a stripper? No. Nope. It's okay to be a gangster? No. Nope. It's okay to sell a bunch of drugs? No. Nope. Is it okay to be homosexual? No. But the Bible doesn't put a, the Bible says the only thing that sends a person to hell is you don't believe on Jesus for redemption, for your salvation. That's it. He, he that believeth and he that believeth not. Hey, everybody in the world, you're on one side or the other. You either believe or you don't believe. You're either going to heaven because you believe in him or you're going to hell because you don't believe in him. Well, I don't believe that. Well, believe what you want to believe. I told this story. A bunch of you going to hate me as soon as I tell the story. Bunch of gonna hate me, but I went in, stopped for gas the other day, or stopped for candy bars. Stopped for candy bars. There's a bunch of Muslims. There's Hindus across the street, and there's they're as unfriendly to me as I've tried and tried and tried. I went in there a hundred times. Dudes, it's just unfriendly, grouchy. Okay, you're a miserable dude. I'm a happy person. I bring sunshine in. You're a big thundercloud. Okay, I, I won't hang around you. I don't want to be around a bunch of grumps. Okay, but he's got a hard life. Well, live my life for a minute. Find out what stresses are. Anyway, so you want to be a grump? Fine, I'll take my candy bar business across the street. I will go back there because they sell Tootsie Roll Pops and the Muslims don't, but the Hindus do. So the Muslims are in there and I'm buying my stuff and a guy comes up and hands me some, he hands me some, hands me some food item. He says, I can't read this. He said, could you see if there's any pork in this? Okay, I know right away there's dietary restrictions for the Muslims. No pork. So I read it. It's got pork. I say, no pork. <laughs> Dude tears it open. He starts chomping. Guy behind them, he starts chomping. They're both chomping on. Yeah, this is great. I don't see you going to hell for this because you don't go to hell because you don't eat pork and you don't go to heaven because you don't eat pork. Whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. You're either saved or you're not. Oh, what? Well, Baptist? Doesn't have to be a Baptist. I know Catholics go to heaven. Lutherans go to heaven. Uh, community church people go to heaven. The Church of the Brethren, Mennonites, uh, Anglicans, Church of England, Mormons. And I mean, you can't believe that doctrine. But, but whosoever believeth and whosoever believeth not in him. It's easy to understand. It's not complicated. Church is complicated all the time. Get it, lose it, get it, lose it, get it, lose it, get it, lose it. Well, somebody tell me what you do to lose it. Take the Bible and show me what you do to lose it. You can delineate that for me. Bounce that fulcrum. Tell me where that fulcrum is. By the way, I don't know where the fulcrum is between lost and saved, not so I can get close to the middle so I can live a sinful life and just stay on this side of salvation. Hey, I want to get as far away from that line as possible, amen? amen. I don't live my life close to the line of sin. Sin was finished. Eat your stinking guts out, and you'll be miserable and unhappy. 
Live a righteous life. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Hey, in all the ways, say, Jesus, what do you want me to do? You want me to say, well, I just don't know about that. Let me tell you something. I was young, and now I'm old. I'm 56 years old, and God has blessed me, and I'm just as much in love with my wife I've ever been, and I thank God for my kids and my grandkids and my church and my life, and I got on my knees this morning. I said, dear God, thank you for what you've done for me, and thank you for saving me, and thank you for my mom, and thank you for my dad, and thank you for my wife, and thank you for my church and thank you for everything. You know why? Because when I was young, I decided how do I want to be when I'm old. And now that I'm old, I'm not that old, but now that I'm old, I look back on 34 years and say, bless God. I'm glad I chose Jesus. Amen. Verse 16, for God so loved the, do we have special music today? Oh, Doug, shut up. No, no, no. They've practiced and we're going to hear them. I'll get, but listen, listen, we will, we will take off quickly. We will reach cruising out too quickly this morning. Verse 15, now, whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 